This week, the top eight open division teams in Europe and North America clash in the regional playoffs to claim first or second place and their right to battle one of the HGC teams for their spot in the HGC League. First place teams will get their choice of opponent during the Crucible. I am Bahama, and this is Heroes Hype Weekly Recap, your amateur Heroes of Storm recap for the week of April 2nd, 2018. Across the pond, the eight European teams that qualify for the playoffs were Team Singularity, Terra's Radzina, Manticore, Granite Gaming, Team Go, E-Punks, Worst Positioning, and Valhalla. After two days of tournament play, the final four were the first seed Team Singularity, second seed Terra's Radzina, fourth seed Granite Gaming, and seventh seed Worst Positioning. The Grand Finals positioned Worst Positioning from the upper bracket against Granite Gaming from the lower bracket. In a weighted best of seven, worst positioning would start up the series 1-0, but that wouldn't last long as Granite Game would demonstrate their ability to fight around and, with the Immortal, take game one. During game two, each team had a win condition available and it came down to the final team fight post-level 20 near the top temple. With Medivh's portaling, worst positioning was able to secure the first kill on Granite Gaming's Rhaegar, and after a few more kills, was able to march on to Granite Gaming's core. For Game 3, Worst Positioning clawed out an advantage slowly in the match and eventually cornered Granite Gaming's into a team fight with the Punisher moments before they achieved level 20. By that point, Granite Gaming's members began to fall alongside their core. Game 4 would kick off 9 minutes in as Granite Gaming would take down all three forts and shortly after two keeps. Worst Positioning showed signs of life that equaled experience, but Granite Gaming won a team fight that easily allowed them to take down the opposing core. The final game was quite a doozy as Granite Gaming opted for a supportless composition which was quite convincing until Worst Positioning negated a curse and was able to make a successful all-in call and end the game. Clutching the series 4-2, your European Open Division champions. Back in North America, our eight competing teams in the playoffs were XD, Gazua, EID, Rouge et Al, Aria Please, King's Gambit, Team Nightcare, and Trait Value. Concluding the second day, our final four teams were 1st seed XD, 3rd seed Team Nightcare, 4th seed EID, and 7th seed King's Gambit. The last two teams standing and meeting in the Grand Finals were King's Gambit from the upper bracket against XD from the lower bracket. Aria Please showed why they have been a consistent threat in this year's Open Division, taking down King's Gambit in Game 1 on Sky Temple in a fairly dominating fashion. However, King's Gambit matched this energy in Game 2 on Infernal Shrines. They stayed cool while behind in the series and cleanly combined their composition of Garrosh, Tracer, and Malfurion, winning Game 2. The final game of the series showed XD's perseverance and showed a very strong race to level 10. However, King's Gambit wasn't out by any means. After a big team fight, King's Gambit was comfortably in the lead and adopted a safe strategy which allowed them to play the macro how they wanted to and force XD to make a defense on their core. It wasn't in their cards however, and that means King's Gambit would claim another core. With that, King's Gambit plants their flag with a 4-0 victory and the North American Open Division title. Congratulations to Worst Positioning and King's Gambit for winning the regional playoffs and Granite Gaming and XD for their second place finishes. Good luck to these teams as they prepare to face the bottom two HCC League teams from each region on May 4th and 5th in the Crucible. We look forward to seeing all of our competitors coming back and the new challengers coming out for Phase 2 of the Open Division later this year. I am Bahamut and thank you for watching this week's Hero Weekly Recap.